Hi friends, good folks, lovely people, boys and girls. A new package. It's from uh, some company. And I bought this. Jeffrey, what is that? If you are as old as I am, or older, you know perfectly well. Feels like I'm being scammed here. It's like there's only three inside, because it says ten. Feels really light. Yeah, that has been opened up before. Oh my god. No, no, there are ten. Yes. <sighs> Again, Jeffrey, what is this? Well, let me tell you. These are called uh, three and a half inch discs. Discettes. Yeah, this. They say this. Discettes. 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 Uh, I can't place it. Smells okay, I guess. Why did I buy these? Well, the Mega 65 can use these. So I was uh, hoping to try that out. Just making sure it fits. Yeah. They fit. I'll, I'll use this camera in a bit and show you when uh, inserting the floppy floppy insertion. <laughs> the disc, the diskette, the diskette. Inserting the diskette into the Mega 65 and see if we can save and load something from it. We'll call this uh, a floppy disk every now and then. They're not floppy floppy, but I still think this is a floppy disk because that's what little me thought that they were called. And uh, let me gra grab a floppy floppy. These guys, these are the actual floppies. The floppy floppies. These are not floppy. This, these are just disks. But I always thought this is called floppy and this is called floppy disk. And then the common thing being the floppy is that you can store shit on it. That's what little old Jeffrey thought. Little old... Little Jeffrey thought about it. I'm just a stupid person, so yeah. Especially when I was young. I was a really dumb, dumb kid. I'm an introverted thinker. These guys are the smartest people in the room. <laughs> I'm so clumsy and goofy and... So yeah, who is smart? By the way, this stuff is always messy, I know, I know, I should clean it up. Little insider information. This whole place will be uh, renovated soon. Renovated? I will be having the roof extensions, I've been going on about them for two years now, I think. I'm, I'm finally, they're, they're coming, they're coming. Then this place will be actually be cleaned up before they start. And then I will lose this workspace, get the extensions, and then we need to finish it off nicely. But I don't have any money anymore to make it, to finish it off nicely, so... <laughs> I will set this up in a slightly unfinished new workspace area and we'll see, it will probably be messy again anyway. But I'm working towards cleaning it up a bit and making a nice retro cave here. That's the idea at least. Check this out. I'll remove the HDMI and there is no drive light, which is normal. And then let's put in the HDMI and now there we go, a drive error. That is weird. If I put power on... Then it is fine again. Uh, games 0, 1. So it looks like that. And now... Putting in the identification number or letters, whatever. And the I is important, I for identification, that uh, that tells the the header command to make a, uh, a full format, to do a full format and not a quick format. And this is needed initially, of course. It, uh, are you sure? Yes. Why is this blank? No formatting sounds. Ah. Yeah, maybe I should put in the disc first. It seems to pick it up. But no formatting sounds again. That is weird. Maybe I should uh, run the command with the disc inside. That is maybe a better way to go about it. 
do, 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 do. Let's try that again. Are you sure? Yes, sir. It made a drive sound. And already let, let it run. I already let it run for 15 minutes. I don't think it's going to finish ever. So sad. I want to save and load something on it. And I don't know if it's the diskette that is failing here. Or if it's the Mega 65 that is failing. That red light flashing when the HDMI cable is in is weird as hell as well. I still have my uh, paper that I... Uh, you can see that in the unboxing with the coat on it. So, um, what I'll do is uh, I'll go visit this website, uh, files.mega65.org. Put my coat in to access additional content. So here we have the uh, C65 Mega65 kernel ROM. Downloaded a good many times. I think this is the closed room that you could access to when you enter your personal code over here. Redeem code. It's on the on the, the paper, the, the famous paper by now. So this is uh, apparently updated, published. So I'm guessing this is from. Uh, I'm recording this the third. This is a version from yesterday. We use this kernel ROM. Rename it to Mega 65 ROM uppercase copy it to your sd card so we're going to use the external sd card now boot up the machine the rom version should then be displayed after boot up credit goes to bitshifter credit to you my friend okay let's do that i need an sd card why is this called jeffrey and here it is called mega 65 silly windows mega capital 65 yeah, that is okay. I'm going to insert it in the Mega 65 now. Good luck. Next to the HDMI, and then there is a network port, and then here is a little hole thingy for a small SD card. Jesus, it's stuck. But there we have it. Yeah. Awesome stuff. Okay, flip this on. Amazing, boots up immediately in the new kernel. Anyway, this is what we have now. And this seems to work, are you sure? Yes. Oh. Syntax error? Okay, apparently I'm stupid. I thought D was supposed to be the drive number. And it sort of is, if you have dual drive or something like that. Um, but uh, what I had to do was the unit number. So let's do an I, R, P, comma, U. And the number is 9 for the external disk drive. Let's try this now. It's freezing. Green light. Don't hear anything coming out of this. What's going on here? God damn it. Why doesn't this work? Now I read somewhere that uh, drive 8 is the internal drive and drive 9 is the external drive. Ah, the comment I did was actually perfect. Hey guys, question. I'm trying to format a physical disk in the Mega 65 disk drive. Well, the out of about. Uh. With the out of the box kernel on the internal SD, I could do header title i65. And that would blank the screen and the drive would start spinning, but after 20 minutes I gave up on it. Because it never seemed to finish. I don't know if this is a faulty diskette, but I thought let's now finally use it. Let's now finally use the most recent kernel for a change. So just put the cut. Damn it, alarm! Uh, I need to go. <laughs> Let's finish this. Let's now finally use the most recent kernel for a change. 
So I just put the version thing Mega 65 ROM on the blank SD. Boots up with that fine. The same command now fails with a drive not ready. So I assume it's defaulting to maybe a virtual drive on 8. And from my understanding I should use 9. This was the mistake. So this command now seems to be very promising, but it wasn't promising at all. For the command system freezes, blah blah blah. I'm probably doing something stupid. I am. I am. I'm a stupid person. Mr. Uh, Urban Linsegog. Thank you for answering. Did you just type mount? That mounts the internal drive as unit 8. Ah, missing piece. Need to mount the thing. I didn't know. Let's do that. After I'm back, because I need to uh, get my daughter from school. Uh, the alarm. And we're back. Let's turn this thing on again. <coughs> okay. Editor. Games. Zero one. I. RB. Are you sure? Yes. God damn it, I forgot the most important step. Uh, mount. There. Now what this does is it mounts external disk drive as uh, 8 unit. So this default command will now work. It's formatting. It's ready. Let's see what we did. Oh damn! An empty disc. If we can put games on. Oh, recording with the uh, Alpha Media stream setup. Still think I don't have audio. It's really shitty. But we're not going to do anything with audio today. Um, I'm not talking in the microphone, so we'll see how that goes. The mic is here, and I'm talking over there. It should be fine. I, I just have to talk a little louder. So, let's make a little program. Then... Hey. God damn it! Phone! Hi, phone. Let's clear the screen. Shift, clear, yeah. Awesome. Run stop. Save. Subscribe. I love the sounds of the disk drive. So sad you couldn't hear this one now, probably, most likely, I'm sure. It's really quiet. Nice little disk drive sound. Love it. Dear. There you have it, the subscribe program. I wonder, can we just load like this? We're giving, we can, nice. Cheers guys. Don't forget to do what the program says. We'll uh, start digging into the, the Mega 65. Slowly, little by little. But I first want that audio fixed. It sucks that I can't capture audio right now. Well, not in a good way. I have a little workaround. It's doing a shitty job. So yeah, see you in the next one.